Hello guys, it's Ali here and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to work with this 6x6 paper pad that was sent to me from In Love Arts. Uh, it was 24 sheets and you got two different designs, so 12 different papers. I'll just show you briefly. They're really lovely papers, all florals, right up my street. Uh, pinky tones and beige tones, they're little tiny roses. Then we've got that lovely one with the birds on and then that one there and that one I love that one I think that's my favourite or oh, that one I can't make my mind up I love that greeny colour and then we've got that other one really gorgeous vintagey looking paper so that is what we're working with today I was putting my thinking cap on trying to think what I could use to make with them and I just sort of put some pockets together because I'm always looking for pockets to put into journals and I just wanted to use the 6x6 paper pad I'd probably like lots if you've got tons of these paper pads in my stash so I made this little three three pocket pocket thing <laughs> yeah just got three little pockets on I've stitched down and I've stitched all around the edge so I'm just going to make some of those today uh, to make use of this paper pad I will leave a link in my description to what I got from In Love Arts if you want to have a look and there's also a 20% discount code they've given me um, so I'll put that there as well if you want to have a look so what I'm going to do first I've chosen 12 papers I'm going to make three pockets so I want four four pieces of paper for each pocket so let's just put them into just try and sort the papers out which ones I think um, will go together I think we'll have that one with the birds that one with that one that one with the birds and then that plain one with the birds that one um, with them all being floral they might clash a little bit but I just wanted to use this paper pad so we'll just have to roll with it so I'll put them into groups of four have I? yeah like I said with them all being florals they probably will clash a little bit but we'll just go with it so to start off with I'm going to cut my papers just in half at three inches the six by six so I'm just going to cut them into three inches so that's going to be one pocket I'm going to save the other half in fact um, no yeah I was just thinking of something else but I'll stick with what I'm doing and that's going to be two pockets so we've got we can make eight pockets because we've got you know um, we could make six pockets because I've got the 12 sheets of paper you only need four sheets for each one right okay so well we'll see how we go anyway we might be able to make more than four uh, more than three sorry so I've got my pockets there okay really really easy and simple to do I was just trying to think of a way to use the paper pad up and then something that I'd use so what we're going to do first is I've got the papers I'm going to decide which one I want on the back um, I think I want the bird on the back so that's going to be the back pocket well the back to the pockets and then we're going to cut these down one at five inches one at four inches and one at three inches so I'm just going to bring back in my trimmer I'm going to cut this one at five inches that's that one this one at four inches and this one at three inches and then what I'm going to do is from the diagonal I'm just going to cut across to make the little pocket I'm just going to do mine in my trimmer and all as I do is put this point this point just in the the trimmer there if you just use your scissors if you want to I'm just going to use this because I've got my trimmer out so I'm just going to trim it on an angle just so you get the the slopey pocket there I'm going to do the same with all of them I'm not measuring, I'm just cutting. So we cut them down and then all we do then is just stack them. So there's my 5 inch one, there's my 4 inch one and then there's the 3 inch one. Very, very florally isn't it? But I've just got to work with the papers that I've got. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my corner rounder. I'm just going to round the top two corners off okay so we'll cut the rest down and then we'll move on to the next stage so let's cut this one down 
next just move those bits out of the way uh, which one shall we have for the back on this one um, I think we'll have that one so I'm going to go 5 inches with this one 4 with this one and 3 with this one We've still got a bit of waste, but these can go in the scrap box. I'll use them for collage or something. Okay, so again, I'm just going to cut off the corners. To make, like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just cutting them down. They might have all different slants on them, but that doesn't bother me in the slightest. Okay, so we've got that one. Five. Four and three so there's that one let's just round the corners then we don't forget on that top one oops that's not very good let's do that again that's better okay so there's that one and then finally this one which one do I want for the back I'm going to use the one with the birds for the back um, so then I'm going to go with that one five inches that one at four inches and then that one at three inches and again I'm just going to cut them down just so they've got that slant and then that one right okay so there we are we've cut the pockets down let's just get my corner around it and round this one off and we'll just put those bits over there I've got quite a bit I mean like I said I could make six pockets really but for the purpose of the video I'll just make these right okay so there's the back pockets then we've got that one that one and that one right on the one I made to show you I stitched across each of these pieces of paper so obviously we have to do that before we glue them down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch along each one of these pockets at the top so I'll bring in my sewing machine um, I'll what I'll do is I'll pause the camera while I do the sewing because you don't want to, oh sorry, knocking everything everywhere. You don't want to sit and watch me stitching, do you? So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video now and I'll be back in a minute. Ditched over the pockets, I'll show you what I've done. Let's just grab these together. Um, I've just stitched across each one. I hope the camera will pick that up. And then what I'm going to do at the end is sew right round the outside. I just like the stitching on them. Obviously, you don't have to stitch if you've not got a sewing machine. That's absolutely fine. Just glue them down. But I'm just going to cut off the cottons, off the tags. I just like to use my sewing machine on my ephemera. So there's one. So that's just going to sit like that. And then that little one at the top. So there's one. Just cut these cottons off. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all okay. What have you been up to? I've been crafting. Uh, I've not done as much crafting over the past week. I just haven't had the energy to do it. To be quite honest, I've just had a really rough time the past few weeks, but I wanted to get some videos done. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better today, so I'm making the most of it. Yeah, I'm trying to get ahead with my videos. I seem to get ahead with them. And then something crops up and then I'm behind again. I like to have at least two weeks videos in advance, you know, just in case I'm not feeling great and I can't get them done. But for the past, I don't know how long. I've just not had the energy to do it. So, right, let's get rid of that cotton. Right, what I'm going to do is, if you're confident on your sewing machine, you don't have to glue them. You could just take it to your sewing machine and stitch it. I've got a feeling that I'd move them everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue on, stack my pockets up. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the edge, only a little bit, just because I'm going to take it back and stitch it. So just along three edges. probably make a mess of it if I didn't glue it 
Okay, so I'm going to stick that one on first. There's one. And then this one. The other half of the papers, I could probably make some little tags to go inside these little pockets, couldn't I? There's two. Just thought it was a good way to use up some of your 6x6 six six papers. And then that one at the bottom. Okay, so there's that one. Right, let's do the next one. Lovely papers, aren't they? Beautiful papers. And they're not thin either. I don't know what GSM they are. Does it say on them? No, I can't see. It doesn't say what GSM they are. They're not very they're not card, but they're not actual paper paper. And that one. And then this last one. Got all these ideas for next year. Vintage journals, shabby chic journals. So all these bits of ephemera that I'm making I'll just put in my ephemera box for when I come round to do it. So there's that one. Right, let's do this last one. Oh, I've got glue on my hands. Okay, let's go around here. I do like to try and leave the glue to dry before I use my sewing machine but I've only put a little tiny bit on just to keep it down while I'm stitching. And that one. And finally this one. Put down there. Okay, so there we go. We stacked our pockets up on top of each other. So again, I'm just going to bring in my sewing machine and I'll pause the camera again because all I'm going to do is just sew right round the outside of my pocket. So let me just bring in the sewing machine around those pockets. They look really nice now. I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. Just sew right round the edge of them. So let's just get rid of these bits of cotton. Like I said, I am no expert on a sewing machine. I'm very, very new to sewing and I can only sew paper. I'm just trying to teach myself as I'm going along. Um, I've actually mastered how to thread it now. I could thread it, but it was the bobbin that was, I was struggling with. But uh, my husband's better than me and he can do it straight away. So I've had a few lessons, so I can do the bobbin and that now. Okay, so there's my pockets. Why is all this cotton come back and I've just put it over there? I think it's stuck to my gluey hands. Right, so there's our pockets. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to bring in my ink. I'm just going to ink around the edges a little bit. Just to grunge them up a little bit. I think I've got all mica powder on my ink. It's all sparkly. You know when I use my mica powder, my mica sprays. Okay, so there's one. So nice and quick and easy, aren't they, to make? Um, I'm quite happy with those. These will come in really handy. I'm always looking for pockets when I'm making a fit, when I'm using, you know, making a journal. I never seem to make enough pockets, but yeah, these are nice. So I'm gonna make some more of these. I'm in the middle of making, I don't know whether I've said this, I do apologise if I've told you already. I'm in the middle, I've got an elderly lady that lives near, right, in, near to me and we sort of look after her and my husband does her shopping and whatnot for her because she can't get out. She's an actual watercolour artist but she's losing her sight so she can't paint anymore. So, so sad. And she asked me could she see one of my journals so I took one down to show it and she just couldn't believe it. She just said she'd never seen anything like it and what are they for? She said oh I'd love one of those. So I'm in the middle of making her one for Christmas. It's this one here. She loves the colour purple and I'm using this kit from Pink Monarch Prints. It's called Lilacs and Daisies. It's a beautiful kit and I know she'll love it because she loves florals and she loves purple. So I've got some gorgeous papers. So I'm making her this as a Christmas gift. So I hope she likes it. Um, so that's I'm going to work on this this afternoon, I think, and try and get some ephemera inside it. Yeah, so I, we were struggling what to buy her. 
Um, so I said to my hubby, I'm going to make her a journal because I think she'll really appreciate it. So I'm looking forward to seeing whether she likes it or not. I hope she does. Right, anyway, enough babbling. So I'm sorry if I've told you that story already, but I can't remember. Right, so I've got my other 6x6 six six bits here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make three tags to go in these bottom pockets. Um, which one shall we have? We'll have the green one there. We'll have the... No, I don't want the birds. We'll have the pink one there. Um, and we'll have that one there. Right. I'm just going to cut them down. They're only going to be little tiny tags, nothing special. I'm just going to stick one in this bottom pocket. Let me just bring back in my trimmer. Just trim them down a little bit. So I'm just going to trim them down to two and a quarter. And then I'm just going to cut off the bottom at three and a half inches not being fussy just something to stick in that little bottom pocket um, okay so I'm just going to cut off my make my tag shape I would normally measure but I'm not going to let's just see if they fit in there yeah so just a little tag in there I'm just going to cut them down just a little bit more just like that so I probably will sew around these at some point so I'm just going to put one in each of the pockets um, one in there and then that one in there okay and to finish off my tags I've got some die cuts at the side of me here some florals where have I put them here they are I'm just going to stick something on this bottom pocket let's have a look what die cuts we've got I've got these beautiful flowers that might look nice and we've got that one that would look nice on there wouldn't it these are all from China, all these florals. I think I need to stick with pink now. I've got two pink. Oh, what about that one? Yeah, I'm going to stick those three on. I love die cuts. I collect them, as you can see. I've got this big basket and I've got another big basket on my shelf. I love buying die cuts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take off the... Are these stickers or are they die cuts? I'm not too sure. Let's just have a look. I'm covered in glue all over my fingers. Um, I'm not sure whether they're stickers or whether they are die cut. Oh no, they're stickers. Okay, so I'm going to stick that one on there like that. And then this one. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous stickers. And they weren't expensive. They were, they were under a pound, I think. I ordered quite a lot of them. I mean, obviously, they take a few weeks to arrive, but I order them in bulk type things. So there's that one. And then this one. Oops, throwing the sticker away. Stick that one there. I'm just going to use my ink pad and just go over it a little bit just to get rid of some of that white. Let me just get my... Yeah, it's a bit too white, isn't it? That's better. Okay, and I think I'm going to stick a little word at the top there. I've got some words here. These are from My Porch Prints. What have we got here? Uh, we'll have wonderful, be happy and enjoy the moments. I mean, you, probably, you won't see these if I put tags or anything in the top, will you? But I'll know that they're there just at the top there let's just cut around I'm just going to grab my smaller scissors fiddly I can't resist can I with words just think these will finish them off yeah, I'm quite happy with those so we've got enjoy the moment um, like I said I will leave links to what's it in love arts for you wonderful and finally what's this one say be happy okay let's just put them in there get rid of them bits
Right, glue. I'm just going to ink around the edge of these little words a little bit. So I'll use my glue. And I'm just going to stick it at the top there. Well, there's that one. I'll try and zoom in in a minute just a little bit and then you can have a closer look. But they've come together really easy there, haven't they? Really, really easy pockets to make. But I think they're quite nice. They're only little pockets, but, you know, just for ephemera in a journal I think they're quite nice so this one I enjoyed making them anyway right there we go put them together there should I zoom in just a little bit okay so there we go then guys that's my project for today as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch Please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel and if you do don't forget to hit that little bell which will then notify you when I upload any new videos. So until next time guys, take care and thank you for watching. Bye!